Boreal forest unfurls across Canada like a lush tapestry, from Newfoundland to the Yukon. What the rainforest is to tropical climates, the Boreal is to North America, providing vital carbon, oxygen, and water resources. And at the heart of the Boreal, on the eastern shore of Lake Winnipeg, is Poplar River, an indigenous community of 1,200 people. For much of the year, the only way in or out is by air. It is very important for families to do things together, doing our gatherings together, and that's something that we are slowly bringing back to the community. There was a lot of pride in that. Sophia Robliakis was born here. She works as a student guidance counselor, and her connection to the land flows through her like the Poplar River itself. The land is very important to us. Our people have been able to sustain ourselves with the, uh, with the bounty of uh, Mother Earth, the animals, the four-leggeds, the winged ones, the ones underwater, without destroying it. Everything that we do is about the land. We're part of that land. That means if we lose that land, we won't survive as a people. This is our traditional territory. Since 1999, Sophia has helped lead her community in securing interim protection Hello, girls. of two million acres of undisturbed forest. But they knew more had to be done to protect their territory permanently. Poplar River First Nation has spent the last decade preparing and taking specific technical steps, combining their traditional knowledge with the kind of science and tech that we all expect to see in lands plans. It says these are our lands and it's our job to take care of them. There's more to our lives than just living on the reserve. This land belongs to Poplar River First Nation. It always has and it always will. We can make those plans for ourselves. The Poplar River protected area is still currently under Manitoba government jurisdiction. So it's at risk for lease to hydropower companies for dams or for timber and mining operations. The boundaries of this land were first established generations ago by local fur trappers. The Creator gave us this land to survive from and respect, and it's important that I pass on my knowledge of it to younger people. We have to do what we can to protect that land. The land management plan is a good thing, and we must work for conservation. The traditional knowledge held by Poplar River elders was vital as Sophia spearheaded the community's data gathering efforts. It helped yield a treasure of details about the ecology, history, and archeology span of the area. We've done a number of archeological studies in the area. We found a number of arrowheads that give us an idea of the different time periods that people have been in the area for the last 6,000 years. With this and other data at hand, the Popper River Working Group painstakingly produced a series of detailed maps used in their comprehensive land management plan. They've used it as a tool in pursuing their battle for permanent protection status from the government. And it has been a big challenge for us to work with the government. We are very patient in working with them and our patience is wearing thin and I think it's about time that they recognize the work that we've done. Land protection for us means that uh, you know, it's, it's our livelihood. Sophia feels the rich cultural history of her people and their reputation as wise stewards of the land make them the most logical choice for determining its future use. We have to maintain that land uh, the way it is, you know, the boreal forest intact. And we have that responsibility to take care of that land. It really depends on our survival. We are the land. Along with this land management victory, the people of Poplar River are concurrently seeking a UNESCO World Heritage status for an even larger region of First Nations boreal forest. For outstanding environmental achievement in North America, the 2007 Golden Environmental Prize is awarded to Sophia Robliakis, Poplar River, Manitoba, Canada.